For this project, all you'll need is your suede string or which fabric you prefer, like cotton, hemp, or leather, your fish hook earring findings, a pair of scissors, these round metallic hoops, these ones are aluminum, or and your round nose plier and flat nose pliers. All right. Hi guys! Two videos in one day. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to get them both up today, but anyway. So, so now I'm going to show you how to make another earring again, but these are, call them my fringe earrings. But this I used white suede wrapped around the metal loop. Um, yeah, they're, they're cute, they're long and dangly, and very, very lightweight, which is what I'm always looking for when I'm making earrings. So let's begin. You can take whichever color suede string you would like, or if you rather, you can also probably use hemp with success, maybe some cottons, if they're a little bit thicker, I think maybe too thin might look a little weird. Um, leather, just be in mind, leather might not, well, you can get it to tie it pretty well, I guess. So, the length of your earrings is, of course, completely up to you, and the amount of fringe you would like as well is completely up to you. So I'm going to measure out my first piece. So what you do is, because they're going to be folded over the metal loop. So you take your string and you fold it. And you see how long you want it to be. I figure if my earrings are about there, that'll be okay. Okay, so it's bent over the top. So then I'll take my scissors and I'll cut off the length. So it's bent over about here. I'll cut off just where the other one begins. The other side. Or around there. Okay, and I figure maybe I'll put, how much did I do this time? Maybe I'll put four pieces per earring. So we'll make them match. Line them up side by side. This is the piece you just cut and here's the spool. I would suggest you cut both sides at the same time. That way you know the length and you don't have to try and guess. Instead of usually I'll make one earring of everything at a time, but in this case it's best to just cut them all together. Or at least one extra piece that you're going to use to measure the second side. Here we go. We have this one. Okay. And don't worry about how it curls. It's just because it's been around the spool for so long. It's gonna eventually. It's gonna fall a bit nicer how you want it to be. Like this one, it hangs. Okay. So I have. Maybe I'll use three. I'll just do three. So I have an extra one here and that's what I'm going to use to measure to cut for the other ear. So I'll put this down for now and I'm going to open my bag of metal loops. These ones are aluminum which makes it pretty easy to open them and close but they're thicker so it's still pretty sturdy. I'll take my flat nose pliers and to open you could either use sorry, two sets of pliers or you just, which I'm going to use, my fingers and one set of pliers. So you hold it firm on both sides of the split here, and you just push it away from each other. Okay, you don't peel it open that way, you just push it forward, and then you end up kind of like this. Except in this case, okay, so I'm taking my fishhook earring finding, and I'm going to put it on the metal loop just like that. Now take my round nose pliers now and close it up. So to do that you just pull it back towards each other. That way you don't change your circle shape. It still stays a perfect loop. And this is what we have right now. Okay, so we take our suede string. Make sure it's still pretty even. You can pull it down a bit to get it to stay a bit straighter. Okay, and so we put 
one end will thread it through the loop. Okay, and we're going to pull it until both sides reach pretty much the same length. So this is how it's going to look. Okay, next we cut off another smaller piece of suede or whichever material you used. We're going to put another piece of string off. It doesn't have to be too long. This is just to tie the others in place. Okay, so while we're holding it taut, we want it to be very close to the, the loop. Okay. We'll take the short piece that we just cut off and just wrap it around and tie it a simple way of tying. I don't even know what the name of this would be called. Okay, by just nothing fancy, a regular tie. Okay, so that's how it looks. The good thing about suede is that it it's very easy to catch itself so it doesn't slip out. It holds very tight. So then I'll bring it around the back to make sure it's extra secure. And I'll do another simple tie. Just like when you're tying your shoes, that kind of tie is all I'm doing. Around the back side and pull it tight. Okay. Then we'll use our scissors and we'll cut off the excess end. If you want, you can double knot it, but being suede, it's actually pretty secure. I don't think you're going to go swimming with these earrings <laughs> or anything like that, right? And that's all. Two minutes and you're done. And a very cute, a very unique type of earring, and you can again customize it to anything. So that's all. Just make this, do the exact same thing for the other ear. Throw them on and go ahead out. Thanks for staying tuned and for subscribing. Please leave any comments or suggestions just below. Thanks a lot. Take care.